Good evening everyone. Welcome to my handyman zone here on YouTube. Today we're going to fix a hot dog machine. A Star Model 30, one of those roller machines that rolls the hot dogs for like 15 hours before you buy it with that fructose enhanced Coca-Cola soft drink and load up your arteries with all kind of poison. We got one here. Let's show it to you and we'll show you what the problem is and what the fix is going to be. Eat some pigs. It's a Star Grill Max. Look at all those rollers. Like a temperature control for the front and rear over there. On off buttons. Turn it over. You will find on the bottom. The manufacturer's model number. Which is model 30. The uh, serial number. Which, Using this information we googled, searched. And we got a number of uh, two or three places that sold the motor kit for this. And uh, all were about the same prices. So we ordered it right from the manufacturer. I don't... This is a $3,000 hot dog machine. You gotta sell a lot of hot dogs to make money on that. But the thing is, it's not only hot dogs, it's the soda sales, the lotto tickets, the uh, newspapers, and all that other stuff that the people buy when they come in for lunch at the mobile station. This is from the mobile station, friends. Because I got this job just by uh, stopping in and talking to the Pakistani, my Pakistani friends. Well, actually, it's like, there's all this Indians, Pakistanis, Bangladeshis, they all working together. If they were back in their home countries, they'd be fighting each other. But they're all working together, Hindus, Muslims, and Sikhs and stuff at this mobile station. Different shifts, but nonetheless, there they are. Bangladeshi guys, they, I think he was trying to show off to the Indians and the Pakistanis that he was more mechanically inclined than them. He had just started working there and the hot dog machine stopped working. That's a little suspicious right there. But anyway, so he took it apart and he said it was the motor. So they called me up and said, can you fix the motor? These little electric motors are not serviceable. You have to replace them. They have since fired that guy. Here's the deal at the gas station. These guys, these Pakistani Bangladesh, these Indian guys, they work in 12 hour shifts for 96 bucks is what the boss gives them. You know, <laughs> um, I would go pick up dog duty out of people's backyards for 30 bucks a house and I would make, <laughs> you know, seven, eight, nine houses a day and I'd make a lot more than 96 bucks. This is the old motor. It's a motor. It doesn't turn because the fan got pushed back somehow to, to hit the, all right, so it doesn't turn anyway. But then there's a gearbox here and a uh, sprocket that turns the chain there's like a small bicycle chain in there that turns all the rollers so when we ordered it this is what we got they're both 120 volts so at least that's good the actual motor parts are exactly the same and interchangeable but worse comes to worse i could take this motor off this gearbox and put it on this gearbox i mean i just carried it from the truck to this table and i was like covered with grease it looks clean but every little crack and corner and crevice is like pig grease in it it's literally disgusting and uh, I'm sure when we take the side cover off it's gonna be like a wretched puke bar fest of what's in in got in the cracks and crevices into the machine but we'll check that out on the side panel with the controls we're gonna remove this side panel it's just a couple of screws along the bottom and the panel comes off See, it looks, it looks clean, relatively clean, like stainless steel, but like, look at the bottom here. It's got like sweated, sweating grease drops. It's disgusting. So he, here we see the heating elements that run inside the rollers. And then there's this big bicycle or a little bicycle chain that turns everything. The motor mounts, we're going to take off the bottom plate. The motor mounts from the inside and then little gear, the little gear sticks out of that hole and turns the bicycle chain which turns the rollers which cooks the hot dogs but look look at this here look at this look this is rancid rancid pig grease right here I mean this is like rotten rancid if you ate this you would get Ebola That is some foul, foul pig grease. All right, I think we're gonna have to take all of these screws out to get the bottom cover off. Hey. 
Okay, we are looking up inside the machine. I, I just took this bottom cover off as you saw. Now we're looking up inside the machine. We're going to mount that new motor. I would think something like... Uh, Something like that. All the screws line up and the sprocket. There's a slight clearance issue with with these mounting holes. And I'm going to put on some safety glasses. I got the carbide cutting uh, bit. So here's the money shot. Chain runs around. We got good tension on the chain. Um, and uh, sprockets uh, in line, we got all these screws tightened up, the mounting screws. We're going to go underneath and hook up the two wires for the motor, they just plug in connections, and then we're going to test it. Both the wires are the same color, which usually means polarity doesn't matter, so I don't think it matters where we hook them up. But it's a 50-50 chance that we have it right, because that's just the way the odds work out. Okay, we're plugged in, we're live. This is the on-off switch. And both the dials are at zero. We put it on, we got a light. Hey, the motor's actually turning. Uh, let's button it up. Now let's give it some heat first, let's see. Let's give it some heat. Put them both on 10. Tools are so greasy, it's disgusting. He's got his $3,000 hot dog machine back in action. He could sell his hot dogs, his coffee, his soda, his uh, newspapers, his lotto tickets. It's just going to bring more people in. A hungry lunch crowd comes to the gas station for these dogs cooked on this rancid uh, machine that is just as rancid as every other machine in every other establishment around the world. Hot dog machine, 7-Elevens, carnivals, restaurants, you name it, they got a hot dog machine. It's got rancid pig grease inside. Alright YouTube, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Sub to my channel while you're here. I'm Dino Pinch. This is my handyman zone and we'll see you later.